Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Uh, check this real quick. All right, got a good one for you today. Um, world title fight rematch with Shaki Foster, Robinson Concesia, and what may have been the robbery of the year earlier in the year in a fight that I was at at the Prudential Center. They're going to get it on again for the second time. Uh, before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, subscribe to me on Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Uh, get you the, uh, the lock of the week. Get you asked to bookie anything. Get you request a video. It gets you the updated props. Like, there are no props out on this fight, so you come over to the Patreon when it, when it drops, and we show you how to make money on the props. And there will be money to be made on, on these props. So when, when those come out, Head on over to Patreon, $5 a month. We'll get you taken care of, $5 a month. Go to Patreon uh, for the absolute best gambling advice in the boxing universe. Also, head on over to carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com. That's nu the nutrition of a steak with the convenience of a bar. On the move nutrition without compromise. That's carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. Carnivorebar.com, promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Also, head on over to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, it's completely completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds going to go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, y'all, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Um, Robinson Concesio took... Uh, the WBC Super Featherweight title from Oshaki Foster in very controversial fashion. Remember, uh, who's, uh, Tim Bradley went absolutely ballistic when he lost that fight, um, when, when the scorecards were read. I was at the fight. We were waiting to interview Oshaki Foster uh, over where they have the interviews with, with you know, top rank. They have a, a section. We're waiting there to talk to Oshaki. A uh, guy from Fight Hub comes out and says, Oshaki lost. Concesia won. And it was like just shocking. And we were all like, you know, stop the cap. And he's like, no. Uh Concesia won. It was it was one of those things. Absolutely egregious decision. And the odds are gonna dictate that. The, the odds are showing uh Oshaki as a huge favorite, even though he lost the first fight. Um he's at my was it minus four hundred. Yeah, he's at minus four hundred, so he's a four to one favorite. Um you know, Shaki, great speed, good twitch, great athlete, um, accurate counter puncher, really, really good counter puncher, good movement, excellent footwork, closes, maintains distance really well. Uh, not a huge volume guy, but he pops out that jab there. He's got good snap on his good snap on his shots, really underrated shots, picks off shots really, really well. Reflexes is, is he's always in position to hit shots, pick off shots, and move. Elusive. Can be very, very hard to hit clean. We saw that in the first fight with Concesio. Concesio could not catch him cleanly. Quick counter shots. Accurate straight right hand. The straight right counter is, is his best shot. Uh, he puts quick combinations together. Uh, can really, really put rounds in the bank. He can be a very difficult guy. He can start, you know, just putting rounds in the bank. Run off rounds. Round after the round. Needs to uh, step on the aggression in this fight, though. A little more combinations. We need. To, he's a great combination puncher. We need to see more of it. We need to see him a little bit off the front foot, really establish himself. He's a much better fighter and a much higher class than Robinson can say. See how, um, sharp defensive skills and reflexes. Like I said, he can make you miss, get in and out, make you miss. Good counter puncher, counter sharp counter right hands. Works behind the jab and, and uses his athleticism and, and his movement to avoid shots and get in and out of range. He can get in, score, get out, uh, make you miss, counter. He's, he's really, really good at you know at that game. And that's Oshaki Foster. On the other hand, Robinson can say, see how front foot guy, a little bit slower. Uh, there's going to be a major speed difference in this fight like we saw in the first fight. He likes to lead. He likes to come forward. Mainly a front foot guy, a little bit plotting. Had a ha real hard time. Landing cleanly in the first fight. He gets wild and unhinged. You can make him miss, and at that point, he's easy to counter if you're willing to stand in. He's got good power. I don't think it's earth-shattering power, but I do think it's good power. And If you can stand in, if you're, if you're 
man enough and, and skilled enough to stand in and make a miss, you can really have your field day counting. I mean, I think that's where Oshaki needs to be. Uh, he's really good at getting in and out. Aggressive, opens up, stays behind a high guard, good power. Um, high risk, high reward fighter, likes to come forward, takes big shots. If he lands it, it's great. If not, he's getting countered, he's getting tagged, and we've seen this. A decent athlete, not the athlete that Oshaki is, but he's not unathletic either. Way too sloppy, Re- really gets sloppy, um, and, and you can counter him, and you can, if you stand in, you can have your way with him. He, he's sloppy. This is a fight that Oshaki should win. Oshaki won the first fight. Uh, Oshaki can fight even better in the second fight, but he, he needs to really want to win. He needs to step up the aggression, take a decision, and, and really, you know, take the lead in spots. He can put rounds in the bank, and he can just win round after round. Let's take a look at the line. Like I said, it's minus 400. Minus 400. We don't have props. I do like the over. Uh, when we have a prop with Shaki by decision, I would love that. Uh, but for this, this is a, a parlay I want to show you guys. A hundred dollar parlay on um, both, you know, Oshaki and Liam Davies is going to make you about even money. And this is a really safe, really decent two-leg parlay. Both are going to be around minus 400. Um, on this book, it's minus 400. But let's not get into Liam Davies. So Shaki Forrest of Money Line. I'll bet makes you $25. Uh, this is a great bet to build a parlay around. It's only minus 400. So you add a couple of easy fights. You add a couple of easy bets. We lock in. We make that money on Oshaki Forrester. Uh when we get props, I like the over, and I like Oshaki Foster by decision. When the props drops, come on over. Let's look at Oshaki Foster by decision. Let's see what that's paying and see if that's going to be worth betting on because it very well may be. Uh, that's a review of Shaki Foster, money line, easy money bet. Guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing, blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Book, you can for every single major fight. Also, head over to carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING to save 10% on checkout on all your orders. Um, it is February. It is October 29th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.